We are looking at a Christmas story and we are looking at prophecies leading to the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today we look at another prophecy from the book of Micah, chapter 5, verse 2. And it says, But you, Bethlehem Ephrathah, though you are little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of you shall come forth to me the one to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth are from of old, from everlasting. This is a very interesting prophecy because it's talking about somebody who is everlasting, uh, an eternal being. And, and it calls a person a ruler of Israel. So definitely it will not be a physical, natural ruler of Israel because none of them are from everlasting. Uh, each one of them comes, serves, and, and moves on. So this is a very heavy uh, prophecy talking about an individual uh, who would emerge from Israel uh, and would have an everlasting heritage. That means an eternal being that will be coming to be ruler of Israel. And that is why this is seen as a messianic prophecy because it's not just talking about a normal, natural leader of Israel. And it says that this person will be born in Bethlehem Ephrata. Bethlehem Ephrata was a town in the, in, among the tribe of Judah. And, and of course, that was the place where David came from, uh, the second king of Israel. Uh, but this Messiah would also come from the city of David, uh, Bethlehem Ephrata. So the town is associated with two names. Bethlehem uh, means house of bread. It means it was a place of supply, a place where people find food. So probably in its history, Bethlehem was a place where people got bread and there was abundance of bread. And Ephrata means fruitfulness, uh, a place where things flourish. So Bethlehem Ephrata uh, is supposed to be a flourishing place, a fruitful place, a place of bread. Uh, but then the passage goes on and says that it is little among the thousands. In other words, in, among the towns of Judah, Bethlehem Ephrata it's little, it's insignificant, it's not a very major city, it's not the most important city in Judah. So, how come uh, that God chose Bethlehem Ephrata? That's the thing about God, that God's promises always come to us in, in ways that beat our understanding. So sometimes you think that somebody uh, is in a small town, somebody's in a small place, somebody's small, somebody doesn't have much, uh, doesn't know so much, and yet God puts his eyes on that person. And that's what he did to Bethlehem Ephrathah, not to Jerusalem, the capital of Israel, which was also in Judah, but to Bethlehem Ephrathah, a small town insignificant, but he says, yet out of you shall come this everlasting one who shall bear rule over Israel. And when you know the Jesus story, that is where Jesus was born, in Bethlehem, Ephrata. He, his parents had to journey there for him to be born. But God has spoken about it way ahead of time, that the everlasting one, the eternal one, will emerge as a ruler and will be born in Bethlehem, Ephrata. So, wherever you are in life, whatever situation you are in, uh, Jesus and the story of Christmas tells us that God will not despise you because of the insignificance of your life, of your birth, of your hometown, of your parentage, of, of your own achievement. God is able to bless you and make you fruitful and make you a supply center so that you can also be the Bethlehem Ephrata of your family, of your nation, of your community, that you will become the house of bread and the place of fruitfulness. May the Lord's blessing come upon you this Christmas season. Let's pray. Say with me, Heavenly Father, you have made me with potential and purpose. Let greatness come out of me in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, I'll catch you again tomorrow. I'm Pastor Mensah Otabel. Shalom, peace, and life to you.